Hello guys, welcome back to my channel uh, and Shreyank, welcome back as usual. Mm. Yeah, man. thank you. Before uh, talking about Pleasure. the hot topic, let's uh, first quickly summarize the India tour of South Africa, how badly we lost in a, in a way. Uh, straight to the point, what was the main difference between South Africa and Indian cricket team? Uh, probably I would say batting, more than balling. Because uh, uh, we struggled to get past 250. Come on. Like, it's out of all the three test match, we got uh, more than 250 once, I guess, isn't it? In the first, game, first yes. innings of the first test where Rahul scored that century. And uh, uh, it clearly showed that uh, if your middle order is lacking and lacking runs and has not been informed, and you yet persist with the same uh, setup, and you see how how we are destined to fail if our openers don't provide for us. Openers have been carrying openers, and the bowlers have been carrying the test side since years, right? For now, for past two years, I believe. Okay, so without these two, I don't think uh, uh, if any one of them fail, uh, we are bound to lose a test, and uh, it was evident because. Uh, uh, bowling was not up to the mark in the uh, second innings of the last test uh, of their batting. And even in the our bowling in the second innings of the second test, it was evident that the score was also less. And uh, it shows that uh, bowlers couldn't create the pressure. And it showed if bowlers don't perform, we're losing the test match. And it shows that the bowlers have been carrying the test squad, this test uh, team uh, on their shoulders for a long time, even though the batting was lacking. That's what I feel. I if I have to be really you know abrupt and really nitpicking, I wouldn't even call it nitpicking. I'll have to be, if I have to yeah. be really frank. Stating uh, the obvious. Yeah, stating the obvious. It's like stating uh, the obvious. Yeah. We've been stating that for uh, many 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 times now. It has the it has yeah. to be the failures of uh, failure of uh, the experienced Rahane and Pujara. Uh, actually, last night I was uh, you know seeing this uh, post on Instagram. So there's this comparison mm -hmm. between India's number three and uh, number four or number three or number five. I don't know. Uh, so India's number three, number four has score has an average of around twenty and twenty five respectively. Whereas South Africa's youngsters and Keegan Peterson and uh, Temba, who's relatively experienced, they, they average seventy seventy five. So that itself uh, won, won them. And also, if I have to be you know uh, uh, I have to state this out as well. Uh, last time when we went uh, touring in South Africa in 2018, uh, we really didn't have much chance because the bowling, they had amazing bowlers, world-class bowlers. They had amazing batsmen uh, who could play mm. spin, fast, everything. So this time, this was a great opportunity. It was, that was a building, a rebuilding side with youngsters uh, who were not really in the rhythm of test bowling uh, for, for a yeah. while. And more importantly, we had won the first game and then to lose like this without, uh, you know, what hurts is... Uh, it's the body language. It feels like they didn't even try, especially the batters. And like you mentioned, ballers didn't have much. You can't go on and expect yeah. them to defend 250, 200 every other day. So every day. Yeah, I'll have to agree on uh, that. Yeah, yeah. On. yeah go on. Uh, exactly what I was telling. Like, uh, your core of the middle order is not performing. Three, four, five. I am not letting Virat Kohli also off the hook. Yeah, he hasn't been because great. Because his numbers have been also dreadful in the past few years. In test cricket and you can see that three four five have not been performing yet we have been winning matches so that's a testament to the fact that the ballers have been carrying this team and uh, with some credits uh, should be given to openers where they have done good they may be beat uh, Rohit Sharma beat KL Rahul beat Shubman Gill in Australia be Mayang Agarwal so Bihari, these people the have been match, carrying the team what sort of exactly. uh, travesty is that you've uh... exactly. so we are coming uh, coming down to the yeah. same uh, this thing that number three and number five you have, you're seeing that they have been failing continuously. You could have at least dropped one and played one if you wanted exactly, to give them a exactly. chance. Give, give them a chance uh, individually, not as both as a pair and then persist with them and yeah. at the cost of the series where we could have won the series and it would have helped our, you know, our overseas record would have been uh, it was set properly because uh, we would have you know, taken a win in uh, another Sena country. So, it's just disappointing that uh, as we as, as laymen, as naive fans, who have some knowledge, okay, we think we have some knowledge of the game, we can see what is the issue. And yet we are, uh, yet the management is doing the same mistakes uh, as they keep on uh, repeating series after series uh, in these past two years, even though the failures have been mounting on, uh, on these two batsmen. It's, it's, it's really disappointing for us to see, you know, the downfall 
Yeah. Yeah, and like you mentioned, I we talk talk about that as well. You don't have to get them all together yeah. because they're two experienced batters. It'll live exactly. a really big gaping hole. Just we keep put one out. Uh, keep him up with the squad. Uh, he'll be his experience will be really helpful. Uh, push the youngsters, but you're not doing that. You're not doing this. They're not performing. We are losing eventually, which which matters. It's quite. This has been the worst managemental uh, decision by ICC. Uh, La- by, yeah, sorry, BCCI BCCI. has to be. Yeah. Has to be. They have really messed it up. I mean, I mean, uh, you played Shreyas Iyer in the home series against New Zealand. Okay, you ha- he 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 had the confidence. He got some runs on the under his century, side, his test exactly. debut. He got. A, that's what I said. Century fifty, and he was doing it consistently in those uh, mad in that series against New Zealand. And now. To go on and then take him out of the uh, team, squad, you could squad. have given the f- exactly even the squad. You could have continued him because he, he had the confidence. He he would have done well. Rahan and Pujara, even at home, they were not scoring runs. They're not that scoring anyway. The They're not scoring anyway. Exactly, that is the more disappointing fact. And uh, you have not you have still persisted there. Hanuma Vihari came in for the second test in place of Virat Kohli. Did not put a step wrong. Okay, he he made those crucial forty odd runs in the second innings. Uh, In the second test, where uh, we could uh, set up a total of two hundred plus for South Africa, thanks to his batting, he showed the temperament that he can do it in the uh, in uh, overseas condition. And yet, you go on and talk, uh, you know, uh, talk him out of the team. That, that, that's I I didn't understand uh, that, that part of it because yeah. I I really expected for the third test one of the Pujara Rahane to be dropped. I wanted Rahane to be dropped. Pujara at least somewhere he can uh, chip in with some runs. Rahane has been dreadful, like. I have no clue how can anyone survive with so many chances. Mm-hmm. Anyone else? You have seen. Yeah. Uh, anyone else who has gone from a bad patch of two three games? That's two three games. I'm talking. Even one series, they have been uh, pulled out of the Arun. team. Uh, be it Mayank Agarwal, be it KL Rahul, we have seen them. Karun Nair. Karun Nair. Karun Nair. <laughs> Karun Nair. Yeah. I don't know. He scored a three hundred and and he just vanished. So uh, exactly. So. What says is there's so much of competition going on in the team. There's so much of talent coming up up the ranks. Exactly. Mm. Even with the talent coming in, they are not able to nurture those talents. Is a biggest crime. Now, if you trust all of a sudden, the, you 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 will chuck them out. Both of them, you will chuck them out. And then now you bring in a relatively inexperienced people, and you have not given them time for uh, bedding into the team. And now imagine they fail. Now they will be like, okay, we told you so because we are that's why. Yeah, exactly. That experience. is going to happen. That is, exactly. that, so is that, is why, that is why I want you bed in because this attack was not so potent. Okay, even though South Africa bowled their socks off, I uh, hats off to the bowling because mm-hmm. Rabada, uh, Engedi, and Jansen in particular with the left arm quick uh, with the height and everything, they were bowling really beautiful. Yet they were relatively experienced, so we could have given one guy at least a uh, run. Either Hanuma Vihari who who has played, Hanuma Vihari has played a lot of overseas conditions, and then he would have known to play. Okay, I understand. Say as I am not being selected, it can give a reason that he has not played outside the country. He has relatively made his debut. But Hanuma Vihari, he has made his debut long back, and then he is uh, it's relatively experienced than all the others. And you are just pulling him out of the team. Imagine what he'll do for the confidence of that player who has given exactly. some performances and you're chucked out of the team. And he he gets get these inconsistent chances, and whenever he gets the chances, he actually made that forty run count. And then mm. throw him out of the team. It is really saddening and disheartening. And and yeah. these guys go on uh, like you mentioned last time as well. Uh, it's one thing to not perform on the field, and it's one thing to be cocky about uh, the media the, the, the statements they give, class and all those uh, nonsense. I mean, why is it even required? What are you getting cocky on? Yeah, as if you're, you're talking as if you scored a double hundred. Like uh, if you score a hundred double hundred, okay, respect. We tip the hat and uh, we like okay. We respect what you have done. You have experience and everything. You have scored a fifty, and India has lost that match, where you had to continue. You, you, uh, you guys, both of them fell in quick succession, and then now you come out and tell, okay, so that's what they say. Uh, form is temporary, class is permanent. Why is this even required? It shows a little bit of arrogance. Why is this even required? Uh, did, did exactly. Even, yeah, you see, even with all this, uh, you know. Uh, uh, confusion. You'll have to applaud uh, Rishabh Pant's gem of an innings. Oh, that was one of the best hundreds. <laughs> okay, like I, I said before, I, go yeah. big or get lost. You never know. Get lost. Yeah. Exactly. At least he's coming good in patches. Yeah, These patches are not coming good in patches true. also. You and uh, uh, I, whenever I, he, he was under the pump. Yeah. Exactly. He was terribly under the pump. Because uh, he played that rash shot in second test. I don't know what came on to him, but then that's his natural game and. 
uh, he showed that uh, if you back him and if he plays you know what i believe to punt to fire you know how it is he needs support from the others okay so what he needs is he needs people stuck on one side like mm-hmm. uh, pujara like uh, rahane like uh, who will grind out an innings hanuma vihari and he will keep slogging away those runs okay he'll getting those runs okay he'll be getting those runs so i believe this is how pant uh, needs to be uh, pant's game is adjusted into the team i believe because they are playing him for his aggressive yes. they don't want him to play uh, come and play defense and everything which he is not really good at which he might get better at but he is just 23 imagine 23 yes. 24 is our age and then he is doing uh, he's playing gem of innings and then imagine he'll come good so i don't blame pant a lot so what i believe is other people who need to come in support and then rishabh playing such an innings he will flourish a lot that's why what i believe is the strength of pant and we need to keep backing him because i believe he is our best wicket keeper batsman that we have got and uh, i don't think anyone else sure. can uh, come to come up to his level uh, uh, so that was a brilliant innings and uh, we thoroughly enjoyed because yeah. it really you know it's like january of a uh, january of every year he gets it's something like special wants yeah. to play in it exactly so gaba yeah. last time and, around last uh, january yeah. yeah one other thing that i uh, you know really noticed uh, about rishabh pant when he gets the, when he gets going or when he gets that rhythm the condition mm. doesn't matter or the yeah. dimension doesn't matter or the bowlers doesn't matter that's a very special uh, you know quality of uh, rishabh pant i believe uh, but yeah like yeah. you mentioned yeah go on sometimes what happens is uh, uh, some batsmen tend to give too much respect uh, to the stature of the bowler mm. okay okay this guy is uh, he has taken 450 400 300 wickets in his uh, test career oh i need to play him carefully you know those things and all kind of play with the psyche of the batsman when they mm. are uh, facing a bowler but then pant makes it look like i don't care what you are yeah. i don't care who you are i'm just going to tonk you out of the crowd so that's what uh, that's what he has in his mind and he goes and tries and execute the one that i really enjoyed was not his sixes but then uh, he uh, charged down the wicket and he hit to the extra cover he, uh, he down the ground he smashed the ball went yeah. to the boundary the like the cameraman could like catch it tells trace of a bullet yeah and that <laughs> happened in uk as well you remember to uh, james anderson oh, i guess <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah he smashes, he smashes. hits that and then next next over he becomes out uh, ah yeah he's like, like what he bo- smashes the ball like he hits it Absolutely. exactly <laughs> he does that and also man i have to, I have to be really honest um, uh, bumra played to his ego with this while he was batting he just wanted to smash it on they could have easily added you know shami again i believe he could have stuck around yeah uh, I, i i really did not understand why he had to talk at everything mm-hmm. okay <laughs> so i don't know i didn't really want to that do, that. yeah something to han hansen or something but it wasn't really uh, in the team yeah yeah so yeah now let's get to, uh, let's get get to the hot topic the main topic as uh, you know Uh, let's connect the, connect these dots so you think all uh, the, the failure of this series alone uh, was responsible uh, for no. virat kohli's uh, resignation absolutely not i do i irrespective of him winning the series or losing the series uh, he, he he probably had decided uh, to step down i guess because uh, i believe it's something it has to do where uh, it, it played on his ego also and also with the management's ego also i believe because that so you know uh, we often forget that saurav ganguly is a Uh, was a, a, a player and a captain who was big on his decision who was mm-hmm. bold in his decision who he wanted to he did those radical changes that he wanted to to see on the field so i believe uh, something that has clashed up between them and then i believe uh, even though virat kohli i i is the only thing that he did really good that was test captaincy of all the other three captain yeah. formats his test captaincy was the best and i believe he is the best uh, ever indian sure, uh, captain sure. test series so uh, test uh, yeah uh, i have to add uh, add on a little to this uh, he took yeah. up the onus on becoming the captain uh, when ms dhoni you know quit quit captaincy midway on an australian yeah. an australian tour so i have all, I've always got uh, respect a uh, great amount of respect to guys who step in at the 11th hour tim paine for, mm. for uh, is another example he took up the onus yeah. of becoming the captain when they were in company cricket cricket australia yeah. So yeah, he yeah. may not be a great captain, but uh, to come forward and take the responsibility in itself is a great thing. Virat Kohli did that, and he led it beautifully. He, yeah, like you mentioned, he's uh, perhaps the best uh, yeah. baseball captain we've had. 
it just probably uh, you know, he he will go as top 3 uh, best ever uh, yeah test cricket captains of the world yeah, because sure. i believe ponting is right there up to, up, up no, top because i guess Graham, only Graham Smith. Uh, Graham Smith, yes Graham Smith has the best record yeah he is, is the it? best uh, win loss percentage then okay, win loss ponting percentage. but then i feel somebody and virat no, uh, Graham, uh, but i believe ponting had that you know that aggressive test that uh, yeah he had but ponting also played a lot sports. of matches lot of matches i think captain no, yeah I, no but uh, with the style of play and everything you're which you're i believe uh, uh, easily top 3 uh, all time great uh, test captain and come on but these guys had some legends in the team in fact their entire playing 11 were made up of legends uh, games exactly. or uh, ricky for that matter. and yeah mm-hmm. but they had that golden generation where they got the captaincy at that moment uh, test, uh, what's the testament to uh, virat kohli's uh, fact is that he has the best he created one of the potent attacks in the world for sure potent ball, ball bowling pass pace attack exactly the pace attack uh, i don't think uh, anyone else is as good, uh, comes as good as india is right now because i i only see australia in their home condition but us dominating teams in their own condition home condition. conditions that's why said, like, this this uh, this win should have, would have been really an icing on the cake Yeah. But the series when we had it and then to lose like that was it was really painful and also really pain. yeah uh, i don't i don't uh, again uh, with the, um, it feels abrupt okay i believe it's a carrying uh, uh, this is because of the issues that persisted with in the past 4 5 months what you have been mm-hmm. seeing with the captaincy and in in cricket team where uh, he wanted to uh, leave captaincy in the white ball formats and uh, in the t20 format and i believe it carried on to the test one also where he didn't uh, feel comfortable or something like that so i believe it, it just uh, it is wrong to judge uh, people from outside but then we already or we always do how big uh, kohli is on his ego and his decisions so hats off to him sticking by his gun where yeah, he wants sure. to do it his way or the other so, for all the, for all the good things uh, he could just be you know tired of it No, uh, let's uh, yeah. leave out all the assumption, all the yeah. controversies around. He could just be, you know, uh, he hasn't been scoring runs, you know, in the last yeah. couple of years. He hasn't yeah, been scoring that, runs. That, uh, that's that one could, thing that might have played on this. Mind. Yeah. So, maybe, Any, maybe, if he was not the captain, maybe he he is also a candidate to be dropped from the test team. You yeah, never who know. knows? Who knows? Because he's been really struggling. Exactly. Yeah, he's been getting those odd fifties, uh, and uh, but that seventy nine was absolutely sublime, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, that was, was one of. Good. It was, was good good innings. Innings. Well, it was good innings. It was good innings. So that was good. And uh, I believe second innings he almost had it also, but then he then played. He threw, I mean, yeah, I don't know why that. he went and like played that trash shot. It was I was uh, I you know I was getting reminded of the uh, 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 century double century. There was no more than one fifty that Sachin scored without playing a cover drive. Yeah, yeah, Australia. Yes. You remember? Did not yeah, play yes. uh, one uh, cover drive also because yeah, yeah, he was yeah. also getting caught uh, Nick on the fourth or fifth stump line and. Uh, I almost thought he would emulate that in the second innings also, but yeah, you know, to our bad luck and team's bad luck, uh, he could not deliver, and uh, it's it's sad that uh, yeah. again, I I don't blame him also. I don't blame the BCC also. People are coming in and trying to blame BCC as well. Okay, yeah, they are responsible yeah. for all that, but they also, I mean, you you see what they also have their on the, on their plate. now a guy comes to you and suddenly tells that i want to drop t20 captaincy but i'll continue with the odi and test yeah it, the, 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 it doesn't, doesn't make sense to have multiple captains of for different formats it's going to create a lot of uh, difficulty for the management also and for the team also to adjust to certain uh, certain level of play and tactics and everything so, so when he decided to let go of t20 captaincy and uh, there was a current uh, report that even though the bci asked not to took it at this moment they wanted him to continue okay they wanted him to continue at least till the next world cup but uh, he didn't want to stay on and uh, i was and i don't really somebody uh, once you decide something he uh, goes with it there's no he's, uh, he's always been very clear about whatever he wants to so yeah it could be like you like we uh, talked about plain and simple he got tired of it wanted to get back to just uh, scoring runs uh, give away yeah. the responsibility could be that case as well but now uh, we've already seen uh, kl rahul captain in the second test you know how difficult it was for him uh, coming in and yeah i mean i don't think it will be easy for anyone to come in and come, start yeah. uh, 
uh, emulating a lot of things that a uh, previous captain did. So I believe whoever is the next uh, uh, successor needs to be logical and uh, needs to be you know uh, needs to play his game rather than emulate what the other captain did. Now who do you imagine think, uh, who do you if, think if I am. The, yeah, who do you uh, think is a candidate? I think what they'll do is uh, they'll give a run for Rohit Sharma till twenty three World Cup. They'll give him all three formats. All three formats, and then after twenty post twenty three World Cup, uh, there's going to be that permanent captaincy where Rohit Sharma might again step down or he might retire or something like that. I think he's already thirty four, thirty five. Thirty five. He's thirty five, I believe. Thirty five. Yeah. So by twenty three next year, so he'll be almost thirty six, thirty seven. So when he plays the next World Cup, so I believe what what will happen is till that time Rohit Sharma will get the run. Okay. So let's see. They'll be like, uh, let's see what he'll do because he'll get a T twenty World Cup. He'll get Test Championship and also a World mm-hmm. Championship, oh, this thing, fifty over format. Mm-hmm. So he'll get a run, and then after that, uh, seeing by how KL Rahul is being uh, touted as the vice captain in ODI, mm-hmm. vice captain in uh, Test mm-hmm. cricket, and he, so I believe it's a close run between. Uh, it, uh, they'll depend on how Pant also does with the IPL. Yeah, if Pant uh, is good. And uh, if KL Rahul also does something good with Lucknow and everything, so KL it Rahul might be a prospective Lucknow. between them, them two. Who? KL Rahul is going to Lucknow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, it is a done deal. And because uh, Shreyas Iyer is the captain of Ahmedabad, I believe. Or... No, no, no. Hardik Pandey. Reports came in uh, day before yesterday. Hardik Pandey is probably leading. Oh yeah. Uh, I, if that happens, I believe Shreyas Iyer is coming to Bangalore. Bangalore or something like that. That's but he the, wants to. Yeah. If if both these franchises don't take him up, what they are trying to do is he'll go into the option and wants the money. Got everybody it. Wants because money. he, he yeah, that's what everybody wants to be that sixteen crore player that first offer that uh, mm-hmm. the first main player offer is there, isn't it? So that is a sixteen crore offer, and that, that is what they are uh, planning to do. Planning to do. But whoever it is, I hope uh, uh, BC uh, BCCI don't rush into the matter. They need to be level headed. Uh, on that aspect, and uh, I don't know, Rohit Sharma is also untested in, cap, uh, in test captaincy. Uh, I, his white ball record, I am not even doubting. Yeah, I don't, do I don't think it'll be any difficult. But uh, Rohit Sharma, let's see how it happens and uh, how we go. Yeah. yeah. On that note, sorry. Um, uh, let's talk about the Ashes as well. The final Ashes. Uh, <laughs> I've got to talk about Rory Burns. <laughs> he got run out in a test match. But, so I don't know. Uh, you know uh, they tell right uh, guy has such a bad luck that uh, he doesn't get anything going for him so i believe that's what is happening with rory burns right now because he made a comeback and then he gets run out dude of all possible things dude he was out the very first over uh, they didn't review at all they didn't review that fact it's, I, it's on him that on ugly him. stance ugly uh, way of you know, there's another very interesting fact as well uh, the, the other oh. batsman to get run out in a test cricket for england was in 2019 that's rory burns and the <laughs> other one to get run out for england before that was rory burns in 2018 in sri lanka so this guy has a record in that that as well sure. He doesn't I trust his partner. See, see this. I uh, what we see on the field, it is not convincing. It, you know, like you said, we are layman's, and to our eyes, exactly. it's not convincing enough. He hasn't scored. It doesn't matter his stance and all. Mm-hmm. But he have to score runs. He hasn't been doing that basic prime necessi- necessity. Mm-hmm. I don't understand what the board season uh, guys like this. There have been plenty around over the years. You know, uh, touted as big names, but they haven't performed at all, and they've given multiple chances. I don't know what board sees or uh, what relationship he has uh, with the board. <laughs> Plenty of uh, chances, man. He's a Surrey cricket captain, so that that's the only resume. Uh, that's the only thing working for him. It I shows guess, uh, how uh, good the county uh, county championship is for. Uh, I see. I see K- uh, Kevin Peterson taking constant digs at uh, mm. how ECB has not been nurturing the test team, yes. and I I see he is clearly. Vocal about uh, how uh, how they are destined to fail in a uh, test setup, uh, and that's why he wants to revamp up the county system and everything. So I I I see if uh, P- uh, Kevin Peterson only is completely voicing out uh, without any uh, without any filter. It shows that uh, the domestic setup uh, has some issues going on back in England. Like, again, yeah, this is coming up with a lot of. Uh, uh, owners on these uh, T20 tournaments, uh, people are trying to do. 
I don't know. Uh, every time I see county, they are either playing that forty overs format or twenty over format right. and fifty over format. Uh, rarely this uh, the county uh, test mm-hmm. or the longer format of the game is playing. And uh, I believe that is where credits to BC Center domestic setup with Ranji and everything. It is really great sure. that we keep turning out, uh, you know, and keep the brand, incredible bench strength of us going on. We can put anyone and for they sure, come and perform. For sure, for sure. And also, so that's why it shows that how important domestic setup is. For ending, uh, you know, a cricket legend uh, retired uh, last week. Uh, yeah. For us, as RCB cricket fans, uh, while we were kids, Ross Taylor was uh, something, man. You have to acknowledge that fact. Oh. So those three years, I have I used to fall in love with this guy because I fell in love with this guy during that period because the way he carried our team uh, and uh, the way he hit sixes, I could just love that. Oh, we have Ross Taylor coming up. It's okay. Ross There's something uh, he'll come and do something. Every everyone expected that to happen and. Uh, uh, credits to him uh, to you know a brilliant career that he has had the, over the years for uh, New Zealand and for the other franchise whatever. Then, uh, so, a great, uh, great, how we great, uh, great from, uh, a big slog- not slogger. How we transition from a T Twenty batsman to a good uh, quality yes. Test batsman? That's what yes, that's batsman, what uh, uh, you know experience is all about. Uh, yeah. So uh, I, I yeah exactly. If if you talk about eight, nine, ten, and everything. So I don't think anyone would come up and tell that okay Taylor will be a good test batsman because uh, the only thing he used to do was shuffle across to on the off stump and yeah, then hit that. the ball on the left side <laughs> every time. So that is his go-to shot. So no one would have believed you that uh, he would be a good uh, test uh, test player. But then last year he won the, the test championship with New Zealand and mm-hmm. uh, and he was a key figure in all uh, all you know throughout the tournament and uh, it shows that uh, you know what. Maturity, maturing uh, by your age, uh, and uh, your game also matures with that. Yes, exactly. it, it's great that you have learned on the on the uh, on the uh, on the go with the career that you have progressed with uh, both New Zealand and uh, other franchises that you have played for. You know, I don't think he has played a lot of franchise cricket, but then with New Zealand, well, yeah. Australia has been the cornerstone for them. He's a, he's a great fielder as well. Uh... A lot of good yeah. catches and yeah on yes. that note uh, let's take this moment and thank Virat Kohli for his services as oh, he, he, all, all captains uh, you know he was yeah. abruptly sacked and now he resigns uh, very controversially for all but let's put that aside and just thank him for, for his yeah, he he, he uh, quit T20 sacked from ODI and quit uh, test, yeah, test captain so, that sort. yeah so yeah but yeah despite all that his run was amazing his aggression uh, as pure as his first day in the at the office it's just amazing mm-hmm. and yeah thanks for everything skip you want to add on to that oh, absolutely good like uh, Virat Kohli to be honest uh, his captaincy has has produced uh, players uh, and other uh, you know even the staff who have been aggressive Throughout whatever the approach has been, they, we never settle for I mean, especially in test. There's no question of uh, settling for a draw or, uh, as such. We have just gone off to gone the neck the kill. and we have just gone for the kill. So uh, testament to Virat Kohli's captaincy where he has been brilliant uh, for us in the test. I just love his test captaincy because uh, it never felt timid, isn't it? We never felt. It just felt it was a the, timid style of captaincy cricket. felt felt suitable to the format. It just felt like that. This kind, these kind of captains are necessary for Test cricket to you know to rebrand themselves yeah, and well, to exactly. make it attractive to youngsters, isn't youngsters. it? So thanks to Virat Kohli, who has made a whole legion of young fans who have fallen in love with cricket, uh, Test cricket, and uh, he, even his white ball uh, for, uh, captaincy. Uh, statistically, flaws, but then, yeah, statistically, yeah, it still is good. But no yeah, trophies. Yeah, that's for some other day. Uh, that's always yeah. something that you that will play on the back of your mind. Uh, it's always that uh, you know sometimes trophies don't define uh, the person or uh, the player you have been. So I believe that will that will be written about uh, Virat Kohli's captaincy, and uh, hopefully he'll come back to the uh, you know the ro- roaring, raging Virat uh, as Grand a batsman. Yes. Uh, you know, treat us with. Uh, his uh, contribution to the team uh, pre uh, what uh, pre captain Virat was or you know uh, Virat till 2019 was so hopefully we get to see him after so that after he got relieved from all his uh, you know burdens of as a captain. Uh, 
so thank you a lot virat kohli yeah thank you man thank you and yeah, exactly. on that note as usual thanks for joining and spending so much of your quality yeah, sure. time dude uh, pleasure bro pleasure it's a new chapter in indian cricket let's uh, let's hope uh, that it uh, goes on well and yeah thanks man thanks for joining yeah dude so uh, it's a pleasure and uh, hope to hope to talk about the uh, ODI limited over series uh, yes for sure the, after for sure. our boy our boy KLR is captaining mate KL is captain i hope he does uh, does well dude i believe uh, he has the he has the skills but he needs uh, re- retuning yeah, and yeah. refining it it happens so, with yeah. experience and yeah. yeah new chapter and uh, chapter. we are excited for that yeah so, thanks bye see ya bye